Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Martha Learning Center, Preschool Online. And today is story time online with me, Dr. Wells, today. So we're going to go over a story that's called Stormy. So we're going to learn about weather today. So I hope you enjoy our story. And uh, maybe it will intrigue you on watching the sky and looking at different things that happens in the sky and with the weather. Okay, weather changes and all of those things. So if you can be patient with me as I share my screen with you. And so if you can see the screen, we are here at the glossary, which is where the glossary gives us definitions and words that are important within the story. So let's look at some of our words here in the glossary. So we have about four words, one, two, three, four. And our first, our first word is electricity, electricity. Wow. It gives us the breakdown and the spelling right here in the parentheses. Electricity. Awesome. Now, let's read what electricity is. Electricity is a, a form of, of energy. Lightning is a burst of electricity. Wow. Now, let's look at our next word, jagged. Jagged. If something is jagged, it is uneven. Lightning is unusually jagged. Shock. Shock. A shock is a spark that you feel when electricity passes through your body. A shock that comes from lightning can be harmful. So to give a, another example, shock, like if you walk across the carpet without your shoes on and you kind of like rubbing your feet on the carpet and you go to touch your brother or your mom or dad and you feel like this shock that comes from them are you. So that's another example of shock, right? Okay, let's look at our last word, which is streak, streak, streak. A streak is a long, thin line. Lightning often looks like a streak in the sky. So when you're seeing lightning in the sky, that's a streak. And it's kind of jagged, right? So it's not straight, it's crooked and uneven. All right, so those are some words that I felt like that we needed to know before we read our, our story, which is called Stormy. The title of our, our story is Stormy. And our author is Alice K. Flagan. The author writes the book. The author writes the book. Hi, ho, the Dario. The author writes the book. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. Hi, ho, the Dario. The illustrator draws the pictures. All right, so let's get started. Stormy. See the light flash across the dark sky? It is lightning. Hear the boom? It is thunder. Lightning flashes over a field. Wow. Lightning is very bright, but it is very thin too. See, it's jagged. Lightning, it's jagged. It's not straight, okay? Lightning looks like a streak, there's our word, ah, of light in the sky. It is very bright, but it is only about one inch. 
wide, 2.54 centimeters wide. Wow. Lightning can look like a jagged fork that reaches the ground. It can also be just a flash in the clouds. Lightning can stretch from the clouds to the ground. Wow. So that's why we have to be careful about being outside when it's lightning. Okay, let's keep reading. Sometimes lightning stays in the sky. Lightning stays in the sky or touches the ground around the world. Lightning touches the ground about a hundred times each second. Wow. Look at that. It's really stretched wide. Lightning is a burst of electricity. Have you ever had a shock after shuffling your free feet on some carpet? If so, you have felt electricity, but it was only a very small amount. Wow, see, I told you. Lightning can strike at any time of the day or night. Look at that, the mountains, look at the sky. Wow. Lightning strikes near a neighborhood. Okay, it's coming out of the sky. Lightning heats the air around it. The hot air explodes. This causes a loud sound. That sound is Thunder. Thunder has many sounds. It can sound like a rumble or a crackle. It can sound like a loud clap. Let's clap. Ooh, so it can sound like that. Wow. Thunder is loud if lightning is nearby. Rumble. That's my, my impersonation of rumbling. Ah, let's keep going. Lightning can strike bodies of water. Wow. If you see lightning before you hear thunder, both sound and light travel through the air, but light travels faster. It reaches your eyes before sound reaches your ears. Ooh. It's good to know. In a thunder and lightning storm, stay away from tall trees and telephone poles. Lightning usually touches tall things before it travels to the ground. Lightning moves towards a tree. Oh, look at it. Watching lightning and listening to thunder can be fun, but make sure you do it in a safe place. All right, the end. And we're back at our glossary at the end of the book. Here are some more awesome stories. And I looked at these books on getepic.com where you can get more free books to read when you have nothing else to do and you just want a little fun. Grab, get on the online, get your parents to get epic. All right, so I am going to stop sharing my screen. And I hope everyone enjoyed our story time online with Dr. Wells here at Divine Martha Learning Center Preschool Online. Bye.